There you see Susie Favors time for 41.69, just off the NCAA indoor record. Michelle Rowan was third, Joan Hammerman was fourth. Back in just a moment. Wow. Is Adrian Diamond from Indiana University. Lane two, Shawanda Williams. There you see the lanes. Shawanda in lane two from LSU. Lane three, Denise Mitchell from Florida. Lane four has Lynette, Lynetta Wilson. We'll talk about her in a minute from Nebraska. Il Ray Oliver, the defending champion, is in lane five. And Sonia Friday from University of Virginia is on the outside. Marty, Lynetta has had one heck of a season from the University of Nebraska. She really has. And uh, the perennial team leaders in the women's side are Nebraska, Tennessee, and... and uh, Louisiana State, and they're all in this race, so the team title has a big stake in this 500. They will run in lanes for one entire lap around this oval. 176 yards of this track. It's very well banked. It's five feet up on the turn. There's six lanes. It's 10 laps to the mile. After they complete this turn, they will be able to cut in for the pole, and it's Adrian Diamond way out in front. Boy, she worked hard to get that lead. There won't be too much passing now as they cut in. They just cut in on uh, this turn, try and relax, and they'll have one more chance to swing out and try and pass. Let's try set up the race for you. That's Wilson on the outside trying to pass Diamond. She does. Wilson from Nebraska. It's Diamond in second. Il Ray Oliver is running in third. University of Florida's Denise Mitchell is in fourth. This is the gun lap. There's 150 yards to go as Wilson shows her strength as she did in the trial. Look at Oliver coming up. She's been sick earlier this year. The split for 400 meters, 53-10. 53 and 1, 10 to the second as Wilson holds on. 50 yards to go. Bill Ray Oliver's in second. Denise Mitchell in third. And it's Lynetta Wilson winning the NCAA championship at 500 meters. That is amazing. If the time holds up, we have an unofficial split of one minute seven and 85 one hundredths of a second and marty that establishes a new ncaa record look at her begin to take the lead here well adrienne diamond went out extremely fast in fact she barely walked across the finish line she went out so fast but sometimes that's what sets the race up for records and uh you know everybody was tired but the pace was very quick i don't know if that time can be right that's an awful lot to lop off of a uh, record. We'll see if shot. We'll see if it's right. The world record is set by uh, Arena Nuverona of the Soviet Union of 10886. I mean, could that be another world indoor best ever Let's achieved? Hold our fingers with these indoor tracks, the staggers, and uh, where you start sometimes is a question. People get mixed up. That would be an awesome performance, and uh, she's bent over like she knows it was an awesome performance. Well, she's run close to 109 and a fraction earlier this year. This could be an amazing occasion here for Collegian to set another world record. Here's the women's, and she just missed Lynetta Wilson from Nebraska by three one-hundredths of a second, tying and four one-hundredths of being the new world indoor record holder. She is now the American and collegiate record holder. Ilroy Oliver was second. Denise Mitchell from Florida was third. Great performances to those ladies.